Imagine an aircraft that's already built for efficiency now getting an even more powerful boost to its performance. That's exactly what's happening with Airbus's A330neo. Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the A330neo's newly announced Step 4 Performance Package, set to hit the skies in 2025. This latest enhancement will not only improve the aircraft's overall performance, but also make it a more appealing option for airlines globally. So buckle up as we take a closer look at the exciting changes coming to this wide-body jet. Airbus has named these improvements the Step 4 Package, a fitting title for such a leap forward. But what exactly does the Step 4 Package include? According to Airbus, operators will now benefit from additional takeoff weight capability, meaning the aircraft will perform even better at lower speeds, such as during takeoff and initial climb. This is a significant benefit for airlines flying out of runway-restricted airports like Madrid, Dusseldorf, and Mumbai. The changes offer an additional uplift capability of around 2.6 metric tons, and for some airports up to 4 metric tons, giving airlines more flexibility and efficiency. So how is Airbus achieving these performance gains? The answer lies in their innovative use of intermediate flap settings. Traditionally, the A330neo's cockpit has five flap lever settings, flaps 0, 1, 2, 3, and full. By adding intermediate configurations marketed as Enhanced Takeoff Configurations ETOC, Airbus is providing pilots with more options to optimize lift and drag based on runway length, engine thrust, and other critical factors. This means better performance for shorter runways and a smoother transition during the climb, ultimately resulting in fuel savings and operational efficiency. But that's not all. Airbus is also fine-tuning the A330neo's landing gear mechanisms. This landing gear retraction time has been shortened by 0.8 seconds, and the opening and closing sequence of the landing gear doors has been reduced by 0.2 seconds. While these might seem like small changes, they contribute significantly to the aircraft's overall efficiency during the critical seconds following takeoff. Faster retraction means less drag and, ultimately, smoother and safer departures. Achieving these retraction speed improvements required new equipment, including a new main landing gear retraction actuator, a flow hydraulic control device, and new main landing gear door actuators. Airbus has even tweaked the retraction sequence to begin a few seconds earlier after liftoff. All of these adjustments ensure a more streamlined, low-drag configuration sooner during flight. This feature, dubbed the Automatic Landing Gear Door Opening function, also improves safety by opening the landing gear doors automatically in case of an engine failure, an industry-leading innovation. These latest performance upgrades are just the tip of the iceberg in a series of enhancements that Airbus has implemented for the A330neo over the past few years. To start, Airbus made a significant leap by increasing the aircraft's maximum takeoff weight mTAU from 242 metric tons to an impressive 251 metric tons. This additional 9 metric tons provides airlines with the flexibility to carry more passengers or cargo or even increase fuel reserves, which opens up more route options, particularly long-haul flights that require greater range and endurance. Furthermore, Airbus has optimized the interior cabin configuration, raising the maximum seating capacity for a full economy setup from 440 to 460 seats. This increase, although seemingly incremental, has a considerable impact on airline economics as it allows operators to generate more revenue on high-demand routes without sacrificing passenger comfort. For instance, with an additional 20 seats on board, airlines can capitalize on peak travel periods or cater to growing passenger demand on key routes, all while maintaining competitive ticket pricing. In addition, Airbus collaborated closely with Rolls-Royce to further refine the aircraft's sole engine option, the Trent 7000. The engine upgrade brings increased thrust and fuel efficiency, contributing to an overall reduction in fuel burn by up to 14% compared to older generation A330CO models. 
This not only translates into lower operating costs for airlines, but also positions the A330neo as a more environmentally friendly option, aligning with the industry's push for sustainability and reduced carbon emissions. These enhancements collectively make the A330neo a strong contender in the highly competitive wide-body market, especially against Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. The 787 has long been praised for its efficiency and passenger experience, setting a high standard in the industry. However, with the A330neo's increased payload capacity, upgraded engine performance, and higher passenger capacity, Airbus has created a product that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Dreamliner in many aspects. By focusing on these key areas, Airbus is ensuring that the A330neo is not only more attractive to potential airline customers, but also well positioned to capture market share in a segment that's traditionally been dominated by Boeing. But why are these changes so crucial for Airbus? To understand the significance, we have to look at the fierce competition with Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. While the A330neo was designed as a modernized successor to the older A330co, it hasn't quite lived up to its predecessor's commercial success. The A330neo has sold a modest 296 units to date, a stark contrast to the 1,475 orders secured by the A330co. This puts Airbus in a challenging position, as it competes head-to-head -head with Boeing's highly popular 787 family. The 787 Dreamliner has become a favorite for airlines due to its fuel efficiency, advanced materials, and passenger comfort, giving Boeing a significant edge in the market. To reclaim its competitive footing, Airbus needs to make the A330neo more appealing to a broader range of airlines. The Step 4 package is a strategic move to bridge this gap by enhancing low-speed performance, increasing takeoff weight capabilities, and improving operational flexibility. These upgrades are particularly valuable for carriers operating from runway-restricted airports, where the ability to carry more payloads can make a substantial difference in profitability and route viability. But that's not all. Airbus is looking ahead with the promise of future improvements, like certifying the A330neo for 100% sustainable aviation fuel SAF usage. Currently, the maximum permissible blend is just 50%. A shift to 100% SAF could make the A330neo a more attractive choice for environmentally conscious airlines looking to reduce their carbon footprint and meet stringent emission regulations. If Airbus can pull this off, it might just turn the tide in favor of the A330neo, especially at a time when sustainability is becoming a key factor in fleet renewal decisions. So, while the A330neo's current sales figures might seem underwhelming, Airbus is betting that these performance and sustainability enhancements will make the aircraft a stronger competitor in the wide-body segment, potentially reversing its fortunes and giving the 787 a run for its money. Airbus CEO Gulame Fare has been candid about the intense competition in the wide-body sector, he mentioned strong competition and downward pricing pressure from Boeing as challenges for the A330neo. However, Airbus believes the enhancements, such as the Step 4 package, will provide new momentum, keeping them competitive in the market. Airbus is also exploring an A330neo MRTT, multi-role tanker transport version which would appeal to military operators looking for similar performance improvements. So, what do you think of Airbus's latest improvements to the A330neo? Will these changes be enough to boost sales and make it a favorite among airlines? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video with fellow aviation enthusiasts, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.